should be driving up another shot. Let's go. The base that we started off with was the Panamera Turbo, um, the fastest, most versatile Panamera out there. John saw the Panamera and said, that's going to be our new camera car. You know, just look at it. It's lower profile. It's sleeker. You know, it's faster. I think uh, that's the direction we need to go in. And he stepped up his game and went forward on that. We uh, do all the fabrication work here at uh, at Chase Car Ring. So basically, all the welding, the machining, all the uh, steel fabrication of any type. Basically, we do here. The biggest modification we did with it was the. Uh, the area for the crane operator in the back. One of the limiting factors in the Cayenne is you can't really see the crane when it's up high looking forward because the roof's there. With the canopy, it's been raised above the rear of the car, so and there's a window up there for the uh, crane operator to look through. He can keep his eyes on the camera and the end of the crane at all times. Once we start building that Panamera in the shop and put the crane on top of it, that gave us the perfect platform to start Chase Car Inc. The Panamera is different from all the other camera cars because it's lower center of gravity, higher cornering speeds. You feel more plugged into the, the car. Um, and it's more manageable. You know, it definitely feels more comfortable going through the corners, coming out of the corners, You're able to pick up the power sooner because there's not nearly as much body roll with a lower center of gravity. When we were out shooting the 911, down the track, um, you know, down the front stretch, we were able to do 104 miles an hour. I think is what it clocked in at, and uh, I feel pretty comfortable with that. You know, the crane was comfortable. You know, the crane's going to be able to work around at those speeds. It definitely gets busy in there at uh, you know, over 100 miles an hour. But you know, that was that. Well, that's what that thing was built for. We shot the uh, the 911. We shot the Cayman. Um, we shot the GTR and the uh, SLS, the Mercedes. Those are all high-speed performance cars. Um, it seemed to accelerate with them, slow down with them, keep right with them. You know, there wasn't a lot of um, trying to catch up or slowing way down into a corner. We carry a lot of speed in the corner with them. You know, you're able to kind of match them speed for speed, whether it's coming into the corner, coming out of the corner, going through the corner, down the straightaways. Just being comfortable at those speeds, you're really going to be able to achieve more because you're not thinking about the speeds. I truly believe that the Panamera that we've built here at Chase Car Inc. is the fastest camera car out there. Five people and a crane on it running 104 miles an hour on Willow Springs. I don't think anybody can compete with that. The reactions of the Panamera when you roll up on location, it's, uh, it's pretty overwhelming because uh, you know, it is the only one in existence. We think this car is going to be very versatile in, in all aspects of filming, whether it's a documentary, race car movie, car commercial, a feature, high-speed chase scenes, rock videos, anything that has to do with high performance, going through the canyons, race tracks, things of that nature. It's really kind of the direction we'd like to take that thing and that's, that's the niche we're trying to fill. Uh, the car will take five people, just like the Cayenne. Uh, you'll have the driver, the first AC, the director, the DP, and the crane operator. We've put full HD monitors. We've put a PIX recorder. We have a down converter. So you bring your HD camera, it's ready to go. It's very versatile because you can just drive it over, park it, use it as a static crane on the side of the road. Swing the crane around, jump on the road, chase the car. You know, because before, before these things were around, the grips would be dragging over a crane, and they have to do a crane shot over here, and then you'd have to go do a camera car shot over there. We really think we can able, we're able to do a lot of those things in one. One of the things as a driver that I need to keep in perspective is the fact that I'm part of the shot, and I need to be able to put the camera and the camera car in a place that's going to accentuate what the director and the DP is looking for. It's a great feeling to know that you're part of something that at the end of the day is really going to be a nice shot, whether it's a, a car commercial or a movie or whatever. Um, just knowing that you're part of that and you've actually helped that whole process along is very satisfying. And to mate, you know, a couple different companies together and make it all work and then go out and drive it around a track and, 
and just see the, the reactions of people, you know, crew members and everybody just being so impressed by it. You know, it's an exhilarating feeling that, that, that we could do something like that and um, impress people. And, and just at the end of the day, they say, wow, you've really done it. You know, it's amazing. So it's, it's a very good feeling. My favorite part of this job is the fact that I'm a car guy and I get to build cars like this, drive cars like this, and go out on professions, chase really fast cars. Roads are locked up as fast as we can with a bunch of really great guys. I can't think of anything better to do.